With its distinctive symmetrical body, Hofner's violin bass is an iconic guitar that even a bass amateur like me can appreciate. It's also easily recognisable, especially if your name happens to be Paul. Oh yeah, I've been playing on one of these for over half a century. McCartney. Except not quite. You see, whereas his is the 501 bass guitar built in Germany and these days costing thousands, mine here is the ignition bass, a guitar that only costs hundreds because it's made in China. Now, this may raise a few questions. Is it well put together? Is it enjoyable to play? And being a bit Chinese, will it look at you one day and say, why you waste your time play bass? Why you no study be doctor? Well, let's take a closer look. Up top, you get four tuners with pearl finish, a rosewood neck with 22 frets and markings that go all the way down to the 21st, and all that attached to a lightweight hollow body with bridge and neck pickups, along with Hofner's unique tailpiece. The whole thing feels pretty solid. And then there's the control panel. For a start, there are independent controls for the bridge and neck pickups. There's also a third volume control that's oddly switch shaped that makes it slightly louder. Though this also has the side effect of changing the tone slightly. Finally, there's the switches for the pickups. If you want just a neck pickup, flip the bass switch on. And if you flip just the treble switch on, you get just a neck pickup. And if you flip them both on, you get nothing. That's because there are both pickups going at the same time. Both switches have to be in the off position. You might lament the complexity of these controls, especially when other guitars have a flippy flappy toggle switch that you can use to jump back and forth between the different pickups. But this is Hofner. If you don't flippy the flappy here. So it's a well-built guitar, though not without its eccentricities. But my biggest complaint with this bass is not so much one to do with its build quality or even how all this makes it sound. It's more a matter of physics. Let me explain. Because of its short scale and lightweight body, the body itself doesn't produce much in the way of torque. What that means is, if for example you're up on stage and you're getting into the groove and then during quiet part you decide to go hands free, the bass will tend to want to take a bow in honor of Sir Isaac Newton. So then, it's about as straightforward to operate as a nuclear reactor and has about as much balance as a drunk on a unicycle, but it's still enjoyable to play and undeniably stylish. To me though, a good guitar is any guitar you enjoy playing, and the violin bass never fails to make me want to pick it up and give it a strum.